Hey there, hello. So welcome to Daily Dose and Daily Code. And today I will be telling you on how you can test your C Sharp console app code with the help of any unit framework. So I will be telling you everything step by step. And first I will be creating my new project. You can continue with your existing project. And yes, it is a console app code. Next, I will continue with the same name console app 9. Yes, .NET 6.0 create. And it's creating our solution file. Taking some time, let some wait. Yes, and now we'll write some code on which we can perform our tests. So, using system, declaring the namespace. Here's the namespace will be console app 9. Declaring the class that contains the main function. So, the name of the class I will be taking is class program main function public static void main declaring the runtime arguments and will not be writing anything in the main function because for testing i'll be writing another class so the name of the class will be to test and it contains a function that will be of integer type that returns an integer type value so public int and the name of the function i'll be taking is multiply that take two arguments integer a and integer b and returns integer type value with operation return a into b you can add something or more or you can continue with your own code and here it is written a into b plus 100 and before you continue make sure that you have made your testing class as public because by default it's internal and the internal class cannot be shown in another project or another assembly so here is everything is okay now i will be moving to create a new project that's basically a n unit framework i'll be coding so it's the n unit that's n unit here and we'll be continuing with the first option and make sure that it's for c sharp so basically what we are doing is that creating a new project of n unit type and integrating it with our existing solution that's console app 9 so have to, we have to make sure that the solution part is selected to add to solution so yes it will now be attached to console app 9 next yes dotnet 6.0 continue and here our template is ready some errors automatically resolved so the first thing that we have to do is to make the object of our class to test okay so variable obj is equals to new to test some error error is to just to add the reference add the reference to console app 9 it's added error get resolved if you haven't made your class here public you won't get the option to add reference of console app 9 so make sure that you have made your class public now we have our object in our hand so we can call the multiply function with the help of our object i will be passing the values 10 comma 10 the result will be stored in a result variable and according to our input the result must be 10 into 10 is 100 plus 100 is 200 so i will be checking by using assert dot r equal and it's not 10 it's 200 the expected value must be 200 and our first test case is ready run all tests loading test ready waiting for build and build succeeded and discovered one test and it's passed so similarly if you want to add one more test case you have to write test decorator inside your square brackets and public void test 2 just following the naming convention the name of the function must be capital or simply the pascal casing declaring the object of the function is equals to new i got new to test and the result will be stored in res variable equals to that obj dot multiply instead of taking 10 comma 10 i will be changing the input so 20 into 10 is 200 and 200 plus 100 is 300 so now we'll be asserting the values as result and 300 so let us test and two tests will succeeded there are two tests 
both passed okay the one thing you have noticed is that we are uh, initializing the object again and again so instead of initial writing the same line again and again we can make use of the setup decorator so what this setup does is that before each and every test case it executes the code written within it so instead of uh, writing this again and again i will be declaring a private object so private and object is of my class 2 test object and the only thing i have to do is that i have to initialize the object is equals to new to test and i can remove this line and run my tests and here we are yes both the tests passed and also instead of writing the two tests functions again and again for similar type of inputs uh, what you can do that you can remove the second test case and write this test case values within the same function uh, and in it you just have to pass the input values it will take two inputs integer n and integer b also you have to pass the expected result in it so result passed now instead of writing multiply in a 10 comma 10 we'll be passing the arguments that's a comma b and instead of 100 200 we'll be passing the result that will be compared and now we have to provide the input so we'll be writing test case here will be input values so 10 comma 10 is 100 plus 100 is 200 so basically this is a this is our b and this is our result and result will be calculated or compared with the res variable that our function is returning so let's test it and it passed similarly you can add some more test cases so it's test case value is 20 comma 10 and 20 into 10 is 200 and 200 plus 100 is 300 and test and it uh, passed also write a wrong test case test case input value is 20 comma 10 a wrong value 400 and test so what the function is bringing will be 300 and what we are expecting is 400 and one test case is failed and which one is failed we'll be seeing that yes the last test case that we have inserted was wrong also you can ignore some test cases so if you want to ignore this entire test function you just have to write another decorator that's ignore in our square brackets we will be just writing the some message why we ignored it so i'm writing uh, test it later and running our results that whether they are these cases will be checked or not three test cases all the three test cases are test is later test it later test it later this is the error message because these are three skipped and this is what we want and that's it i hope this helped you thank you